Hi, today I will talk about the effect of the presence of HCl in the first part of the small intestine, that is the duodenum. So when the stomach releases HCl to enter the, uh, the first part of the small intestine, um, the high HCl concentration will stimulate a cell called the S cells. Uh, these cells will produce secretin. Secretin will enter the bloodstream to affect the uh, pancreatic uh, duct. This is the pancreatic duct. This is the acinous part of the pancreas. So this is the uh, exocrine part of uh, the pancreas. The secretin will affect the duct to produce a pancreatic juice, a rich in bicarbonate and with a low amount of enzymes. Why? Because the main goal and the main stimulus for S cells is the high uh, HCl concentration. So the secretin will produce bicarbonate to neutralize the acidity and the mission of secretin here is accomplished. Okay. Um, while the gastric emptying between meals, the presence of amino acids, fats, and so, uh, stimulates the eye cells to produce CCK. So CCK will enter the circulation, will affect the acinus of uh, the pancreas to produce a pancreatic juice, what, which is high level of enzyme in it, and low in bicarbonate. Why? Because the function of CCK and the main stimulus here is the amino acids and fats. We want enzymes to digest. We want enzymes to break the fat and the amino acids. So CCK will affect the acinus to produce these enzymes. These enzymes include um, the trypsinogen. Trypsinogen. Trypsinogen, chemotrypsinogen. Um, these, the trypsinogen will be uh, converted to trypsin through in uh, which is present here in the duodenum. Uh, specialized cells will produce uh, the enterokinase to convert the trypsinogen into trypsin. Trypsin will convert the rest of enzymes coming from uh, the acinus, uh, which is known as autocatalysis. Um, these enzymes will work as indu, indu what? Peptidases. That means if this is the amino acid like this, and this, uh, let's say it contains a hundred amino acid, they will break it into 50 amino acid 50 amino acid and 50 amino acid so it will break it from inside the peptide chain from the middle okay uh, we have another enzymes uh, trypsinogen and the other enzymes that secreted and activated by trypsin uh, are endopeptidase that means they are cleaving cleavaging uh, the, um, the amino acid sequences into halves and so on and so on and this uh, 50 will be bro broken into 25 amino acids 25 and so on until the complete breakdown of the amino acid chain uh, the a a exo exopeptidases work on the margins work on the carboxyl end of the amino acid chain and the amino group end so we call it carboxypeptidase and uh, amino peptides breaking this and then the complete degradation of the proteins and the later uh, stage is absorption that will occur in the other part of the small intestine thank you for uh, your listening and watching thank you a lot if you have questions uh, just like ask it uh, comment in the comments below thanks again See you in another video. Bye.